Hello everyone, my name is Jeff. My name is Gia. And today we're going to show you a technique from, uh, it's a variation from my book, Combative Elbow Strikes. This is a technique using the round elbow strike to create an adductive wrist lock. This is very good for women's self-defense because this is a situation where women often find themselves in. They're up against a wall, they put their hands up to get some space between the attacker, mm -hmm. and the attacker grabs their you know, wrist trying to pin them. What can I do here? Well, you know, the initial reaction is to either try to push back or try to pull down. And if the attacker is very strong, I can't do that. What I can do, though, is raise this elbow. And once I raise this elbow, it puts the attacker's wrist in a bad position. I can create an adductive wrist lock from here. So I'm just going to execute a round elbow strike. In doing so, I'm bringing the attacker's wrist to my palm and sealing it. I've got my elbow over their elbow. Their wrist is in a position for an adductive wrist lock, and all I have to do is apply pressure down to create that adductive wrist lock. Very painful technique. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I you know I said it's very good for women's self defense, but it's easy for me, a guy, to re, you know do this technique on Jin. So we're going to reverse roles. <coughs> Jin is going to perform the technique, and I'm going to be the attacker. We're going to do it slow first, and then we'll do it fast. So, <coughs> if she's got her hands up, and I grab her wrist, I'm strong. She's going to do the first part, which is raising that elbow. Immediately, if you notice, when she raised that elbow, it augments the position of my wrist. It puts me in a position for an abductive wrist lock. She's just going to feed my hand over, my wrist over to her other hand, and in doing so, she's placing her elbow over mine so she can apply downward pressure. It doesn't take much, so when you're practicing this, do it slow. All right, we're going to do it one more time from the other side, slowly, so she's going to raise the left hand, feeding it over. And then she's going to apply downward pressure. All right. So in the scenario, how would this play out? Guy's getting close. He's you know trying to move in for a kiss. She's you know trying to resist his advances. She puts her hands up, trying to push away. Immediately, he grabs her wrist and he's trying to pin her. As he's doing so, she's going to feed that elbow over, and you know yeah, get away. Get away. So we're going to try it one more time. This time she's going to do it, you know, normal speed, hopefully mm -hmm. not break my wrist. Um, <laughs> so, you know, I'm moving in. She goes for the defense and immediately. No matter how strong I get on this, it's not hard for her to get that elbow over. And I'm going down. Mm -hmm. Okay. Another variation of this, this, you know, maybe not so much for women's self-defense. I would advise for most people to try to get away. But just as a bonus if we wanted to. Once I get this wrist lock and I start to break them down, I've already got the meat of the hand right here. So I can peel this hand out, still have the wrist lock. Now I can start giving strikes in at the same time. Even here, I still keep the wrist lock and I get the strikes too. Mm -hmm. So a lot of things you can do with this, play with it. Um, if you don't have a copy of my book, go ahead and buy it. It's Combative Elbow Strikes. You'll find techniques like this and others similar uh, using, you know, the elbow strikes of karate and taekwondo. Mm -hmm. So we hope you enjoyed this video and uh, see you again next time. Bye. Bye.